Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm doing the finale, finally, for my HP Project Pan 2020 Project Pan. Yeah, that sounded better in my head, didn't it? <laughs> This was a lovely project pan created last year by Christina Chang. I will have her channel as well as the links for everyone participating in this year's project pan down in the description box below. So it's the finale and I, I made, honestly, I did everything except one goal, which honestly, like I did so much for this project. I just, I'm, I'm happy with my progress and everything I was able to do. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the finale. All right, so first I want to talk about the two highlighters I was actually able to finish so I have two full well one full highlighter one half highlighter that I finished the first project that I had or the first product that I had was this Fenty highlighter I had half of this pan left it was a split pan product and I finished that by I think the second month of this project so what I did was I brought in one of my favorite highlighters the only highlighter I actually have a full size backup of in my collection this is from Becca and I finished this entire highlighter so I have to say I'm very proud of myself these are the only two highlighters I've ever finished in my entire collection and part of me wanted to keep the packaging of these but like things are happening I don't have to re-declutter re and everything so I'm probably going to like um recycle these but this I already have a backup of this in my collection and Fenty I know the highlighters are amazing so I think probably not anytime in the immediate future but in, like eventually I will buy another Fenty highlight because this was an amazing highlight and I did pan the entire thing so I'm super proud of myself for finally getting to the point where I panned two highlighters moving on I decided to work on two single shadows these are both from geek chic cosmetics which unfortunately I think they are now closed down because of you know COVID and everything but I I'm so sad I didn't get to really appreciate these until after they were no longer available because these are really good single shadows. Um, one was a light green shadow, which was called See You Space Cowboy, which is actually a uh, Cowboy Bebop themed uh, shadow, which is an anime that me and my boyfriend love. It's actually my boyfriend's favorite anime. And then this one, I'm afraid I do not understand the reference for this one, um, but this is called Evil Lurks. And this is a great, like, dark, almost black green shadow it was so good and I didn't realize how much I loved working with these until I put them in this project and I'm so happy I did because I know I want to keep these uh these have so much product in them they're loose shadows and they're tiny but they have so much product I'm never gonna run out of these but I realized how much I loved using them and how many different ways I could use them so I'm really glad I was able to do this and for this project my goal was to use both of these 40 times and I did that so I did hit my goal for these products Moving on to our palettes. The first palette that I had that I actually hit my goal on was the Natasha Denona and that is a helicopter above my house. I apologize, but this is the Natasha Denona green brown palette and I wanted to hit pan in four of these. The, the helicopter is still there. I hope could you just if, there's, if you're chasing somebody chase them that way. Thank you. Okay, so my goal was to hit pan in four of these shades, and I did. Part of me wanted to be ambitious and pick four more shades to work with, but like, mm, I hit four <laughs> in a, a formula I had never hit pan in before, and a palette I never hit pan in before, so I shouldn't have like pushed myself too much, which I do have a habit of kind of doing. But I'm so glad I did this. This really helped inspire me for my 2021 pan that palette. Slight spoiler there. It's not gonna be this palette though just so you know. But I'm so glad that I was able to work with this palette and get pan and reach for this palette a lot more because in my entire collection, this is my most expensive palette and I was not reaching for it enough. And now I have and I had that experience and I'm so happy. So I'm glad I hit my goal of this palette and I'm glad I was able to use it. And I don't know, I'm, gonna, I'm obviously gonna keep it in my collection and keep using it, but these are the first Natasha Denona pans I have ever hit. And I'm glad that I was able to have this experience with these shadows and with this formula. All right, so I did hit my goal for everything I spoke up until now. So this is the only thing that I did not hit my goal for in this entire project. And this was my collab palette. So my goal for this palette was to hit pan in four shades. And up until now, I've only hit pan in three shades. So as you can see, this entire, this is a white shade, so this entire shade is completely used up. I hit pan in this dark shade, this black shade, which I was using in my brows and my hairline, and then I hit pan in this shimmer green shade. My other goal was to hit pan in this matte green shade, but unfortunately it was just too dense for me, even though I was using it a lot. I unfortunately just could not hit pan in that shade. To be honest, despite the fact that I did not hit the goal in this palette, I'm glad 
I chose this palette because this was a palette that was fairly new to me when I picked it. It was really right up my alley. It had neutrals, but it had like dark greens and silvers. Very, per honestly, perfectly Slytherin of a palette. I'm glad I picked it. I got to spend a lot of time with this formula and with this palette, and I had a lot of fun really just diving into green looks. I did so many green looks in the past six months that I don't think I would have really done if I had not brought this palette into this project and I am just really happy with it. Even though I did not hit the last goal which was pan in this green shade right here, I think I did a really good job and I'm really proud of myself. So thank you guys so much for watching. Congrats to everyone else who participated in the HP Project Pan for 2020. We all made it. I cannot wait to see all of your finale videos. Please let me know down below how your project went if you participated, and if not, whatever else you're going to be using or trying to pan for the rest of this year and maybe even into 2021. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.